Okay, so uh, next video. Um, and this in this one, I'll, I'll look at how we can get geometry out of this. So uh, we'll do um, some cloth. So I'll create a um, polygon uh, plane. Yeah. Move that out a little bit. Uh, and I'll create a polygon cube. That should be fine. Th those two should do it. Um, and I'll just make this plane a little bit bigger and I'll uh, add some subdivisions, let's say 25 and 25, something like this. It's not a lot, but uh, it, it's fine for this. Okay. Pop into a bicroster graph, create a graph, uh, drag in my plane and drag in my cube. And let's just say uh, cloth. And we have this uh, make uh, MPM cloth. And I'll make my um, plane cloth. See this, this, uh, this is very similar to the particles, but uh, there's no preset uh, setup. So I'll have to do this myself. Uh, collider. It will be this one. I'll be a simulate. MPM, there, yeah. and I'll drag in the cloth to sources, and I'll drag in the collider to colliders, and I'll right click, click the settings and go create the settings node there. Okay, where, where did that go? Oh, it's, it went down there. Okay, so uh, hopefully it was all in the frame. And uh, then I'll output my cloth to my output. That's oh 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 oh. Uh, yeah. That's uh, basically it. So let's see what happens if I press play. Whoops! Yeah, it it, uh, it does something. See what I what happens is that I actually have a duplicate of my geometry. Um, because this is, uh, or this is uh, rather the disk geometry getting passed through the uh, the bifrost graph. So I'll just hide this. There you go. And let's just uh, go and uh, add some subdivisions. Go 30, 30, yeah, something like that. Go back, and you can see it'll update. And we can press play again. It's a little slower, but it works kind of nice. Yeah, so let's go like so. Okay, let's uh, look at uh, the graph we have. And of course, we can change things with the glider. Actually, um, um, one thing I'd like to show you is that um, on all or most of these nodes, you have the parameters here. And then if you click the info box, there's an, a rather lengthy explanation of what they do um, not all of it uh, is is easy to digest um, and I think that in some places uh, the in cloth etc um, setup was was although there were more settings it was it 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 made more sense but maybe it's just because I need to get used to this anyway we have created a nice cloth animation, and uh, I want to uh, to render this using RenderMan. And how on earth do I do this? Because if I just go and say RenderMan, and uh, I, I can't uh, add RenderMan material to this, that doesn't work. And and if I render it using RenderMan, uh, the object just isn't there. It 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 doesn't exist. So, um, what do I do? Now, this is a little bit funny, uh, and it only works for geom uh, geometric uh, objects for now, but I guess that this is something they're working on. I need to go in and open the node editor. Okay. And uh, in the node editor, I have this bifrost graph. Mm, did I get everything? Uh, yeah, I'll just put it over here. And uh, what I need to do is I need to go and uh, uh, 
let's just make this slightly smaller so that it makes a little more sense on the screen like so what I need to do is I need to uh, create a new node so go tap by frost and then go geo to Maya okay and then I need to figure out where I have my geometry coming out here so I'm going uh, so this is the cloth cloth mesh in this case so that'll go in there and then I need um, an actual mesh node to feed this into so I go mesh and that creates a mesh and it's transform and then I just plug this one into the in mesh okay so, so that is uh, the setup and what happened now is that I get I can, now I can ha hide my bifrost graph I have this uh, a mesh without a shading engine but I can just add a render man uh, shader here and I can use the render man shading editor here and go and say uh, let's go and say fabric some red fabric here and go important assign oh. yeah. important assign yeah um, so that should be on there I'm not sure why my viewport isn't sort of updating to that but it is on there um, anyway uh, this one in here I'll also add uh, material to that I'll just go like mm, glossy plastic uh, green there uh, and I'll add a, um, a, a, a uh, an illumination model and I'll use uh, let's go with this one important assign yeah um, and I'll, I'll do a random man thing later so this uh, creates uh, something that looks uh, like this and maybe I just need a plane at the bottom to just uh, sort of be the shadow catching agent of all this and maybe just move it up like so and just add maybe something matte like uh, like this one there you go okay so um, now this is exciting render a set to render man this is um, this is my surface that I'm exporting. This is the cube that is in my scene, and this is the plane that is in my scene. And if I click render now, there you go. Everything uh, comes through nicely, um, and and this will work with the uh, geometric object so this will also work for th something like shells um, but but that's something we'll explore in the in the uh, quite nicely uh, render in render man as well now let's just uh, exit that of course I can do this with the uh, create the higher resolution uh, maybe some um, uh, well, actually, this is a fun thing. Um, I can also use denoise and things, but but one of the advantages is to get this into a Maya scene is that I can smooth this, and of course I can press three here to get uh, the Maya smoothness. But uh, in the case of Render Man, I can also go and say, um, where did they hide that? Did they put it somewhere? Yeah, they put it here. See, it always changes. Uh, look, so uh, random man subdivise in sc subdivision scheme. Set it to cut mode car. And if I render this now, um, it will of course be the same uh, image as before. But uh, you should see that it is smoother. Just 
popped up here. So you can see this is the the one before, and this is the one after I smoothed it. So it looks much nicer now. So that is the advantage to using this uh, this setup. So this will, and actually I, uh, <laughs> I was looking at a lot of documentation, and a lot of it ended in in nothing. Um, and then finally I found this. Uh, single three line page where it said oh by the way you can just uh, you can just uh, do this create a bifrost geo to maya node in your node editor not in your bifrost graph node editor and then connect that to the shape node of a mesh and and it'll all be good so I'll I'll explore how to do the other things uh, like this. Oh my God, this looks messy. Um, so um, yeah, but that's all for now. Um, hope this uh, helped you a little bit.